even though a lot of people are riding their bikes to work today, just how much are the controversial bike lanes being used? We've been covering those. So CBS 8 went to Oswaga Street, Gold Coast Lane, and 30th Street in North Park to find out just how much traffic they are actually getting today. Kelly Hesedal joining us. You found out, Kelly. Well, that's right. I, by no means is this a scientific study. Uh, we did send cameras out to all three of those, those locations, though, to try to find out uh, just how many bikers are using these bike lanes, because you would think on a day like today they would get more traffic uh, than usual. So take a look. We're here at 30th Street in North Park, and we've been here since about 8 o'clock this morning. We've seen maybe about 15 to 20 bikers ride by. Uh, we did talk to one man who says these bike lanes are great. Uh, he says he goes out of his way sometimes to use them, and here's why. Being separated from the cars, um, you know, it's a different experience when you have cars zooming by you without any physical barrier. Uh, paint, a lot of times, really doesn't do much, and it doesn't add to that sense of protection. Uh, when you have a actual physical barrier, uh, you know, it's you feel like the, the car would rather hit that physical barrier before you. So out of all three locations we visited today, by far we saw the highest number of bikers here along 30th Street in North Park. Now these lanes have been here the longest out of the three spots that we went to. Uh, people were out riding in the protected bike lanes, just like that gentleman you heard from. I mean, this is a high traffic area, you know, the busiest part of North Park. And some of the businesses around here uh, have been frustrated that they lost so much parking due to these bike lanes. Now we also went to Gold Coast Drive. You remember all that controversy about the confusing street that caused an uproar with neighbors uh, that the city ended up repaving it to its original form. Uh, we did not see any bikers out there today. And finally, Rancho Penasquitos, Azuaga Street. Neighbors out there unhappy about the lack of parking, too. Uh, we were out there for around an hour or so and saw three bikers, so not too many people using those lanes yet. So back out here live. Now, the city has said previously that it takes time for people to realize these bike lanes are there, so they are expecting more traffic uh, to pick up along Azuaga Street once people get used to those bike lanes. And also, remember, they say these bike lanes are all part of a, a much bigger picture, that when all the pieces are fit together eventually, you will see this seamless route, this safe route for bikers throughout the city.